welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a first time mum. My son Charlie, he's nine months old. I upload videos every week. I teach you guys what I'm learning throughout this crazy motherhood journey. So hit the subscribe button if you don't already. In today's video, I am gonna be sharing two of my favorite DIY Montessori inspired toys. These toys are aged for babies around Charlie's age, the eight months, nine months, and up to 12 months. Charlie doesn't have many toys. As you can see, I'm actually in his playroom right now and we have a shelf behind me. We rotate his toys every week. I have enough for probably two and a half weeks. So he doesn't have too many, but that is because we do lots of sensory activities, we're out and about, and I just don't think that at the moment he needs too many toys. So I am a big fan of Montessori toys and as well as battery toys, or like toys toy cars. For example, Charlie loves toy cars and I'm a big fan of those because I think they're important for their imagination and creativity. But Montessori toys, like a lot of other moms, I think they're amazing. The idea that your baby is learning while playing is great. The only thing I don't like about them is the price tag. Some of those toys are very steep and they can get very, very expensive. And if you imagine that you have to buy six Montessori toys, that can really, really hurt your bank account. And that is why I've been learning to DIY some Montessori toys. So the first toy that I wanna share with you guys is inspired by the Love Every Ball Drop box toy. It cost me a couple dollars to make this toy. You could probably even make it cheaper if you've already got some of the items at home, but honestly it was so so easy to make. So first things first, let's talk about how I managed to make the board drop box. Alright, so for this toy you're just going to need a box. This is a box that I paid $2 for at a $2 shop. You can use a shoe box if you've got one at home. Some balls, you're gonna need a spare piece of cardboard, some glue, a craft knife or scissors, and a pencil. The first thing that you wanna do is cut out the edges of the lid of the box. As you can see, I'm just pointing to the edges. You just wanna cut two of the corners, and that is because your box is then gonna sit on top of the edges. You'll see very soon. So just like that, that's where the box is gonna sit once those edges are folded down. You're then going to wanna to grab a glass or something that's circular that the ball can fit into, and you just trace it out on top. You're gonna to be cutting a hole at the top of the box. I'm not gonna lie, this was the hardest part of the whole DIY. Like it took way longer than it should have for me to cut it out, but I got there. I used a craft knife and scissors and I ended up folding it. I just got real messy in there, but it's all right. Once I cut it all out, I actually decided to sellotape the pieces back just because of cardboard. I didn't want him to possibly cut his fingers or get any like paper cut. I don't even know if it's possible with cardboard, but just for safety, I just sellotaped it around the whole hole because I did think he's gonna shove his hand in there and I'm right, he did shove his hand in there several times. So the next thing that you want to do is cut a hole at the bottom so that the ball can go through and land into the box. As you can see, I started off by cutting a semicircle, and I soon realized that I needed it to cover the whole edge of the box because otherwise the ball could get stuck in the corner. So I quickly changed that and ended up cutting to a big semicircle as you can see. So again, once that was done, I sellotaped around all the edges, made it nice and clean. And then you're gonna grab your spare piece of cardboard. You're gonna trace it out so that it fits at the bottom of your box, your shoe box. And then you wanna grab the other spare piece. So I had a small piece which just worked perfectly. And you're gonna wanna put that in the middle and diagonally face it so that the ball will go from the top down to the bottom hole. As you can see, I'm trying to explain this the easiest way, but you can probably tell more from what I'm pointing and showing you guys. This is just gonna keep that motion of that ball so that it doesn't get stuck at the back of the box or in the corners or anything. It's just gonna happily flow down the box. I ended up using a hot glue gun to glue it all together. My PVA glue just was not strong enough. It didn't dry fast enough and I was impatient. So the hot glue gun worked really well. And then once that's all done, you're gonna grab the other piece of cardboard that you traced out before. You glue it at the bottom. Make sure that it's all nice and tight. And then you just wanna glue the shoe box on the lid. And honestly, guys, it's as easy as that. If you want, you can get more fancy. You could put stickers, you could paint it. 
but that is it and it works so so well I highly recommend that you get like a strong box because if your little one is anything like mine he's gonna lean on it and um, you don't want the box to break too easily but apart from that once they get the hang of putting the bowl in the hole it is such a fun toy that you can play with your child and interact with your child. The second game that I want to share with you guys is a game I got inspired through Pinterest and that is a box with lots of ribbons and textures that they need to pull out. This way that is going to teach your baby the fine grip motion that they are learning throughout their age and also teaches them that things can get bigger if you pull it out. So all you're going to need for this is some ribbons, some scissors, I have these like fluffy string things, I don't even know what they're called but I'm sure you can see the picture and you totally know what I mean. And then you just need a box, a container. I'm using this empty Dose & Co collagen box, but you could literally use anything like a protein box or if your baby's on formula, you can use a formula box. And I did decide to paint my box just to make it look a little bit prettier, but that is really unnecessary. So once my box was all painted, I just started putting holes everywhere. I chucked a bunch on the lid, I chucked some on the side, I used the craft knife, that was a lot easier than using the scissors. And pretty much once you have the holes in, you just wanna start putting the ribbons through the holes. So you want them to start at one hole and finish at another. I mostly started from the side and then it would finish up on the lid. And then at the end of the ribbons, just make sure that you tie a little knot so that they don't go through the box. And there you go, as you can see, I've just got all of the ribbons in, all of the fluffy stick things in. Once I close my lid, it is complete. And then, like I mentioned, the aim of this box is that your child just pulls on the strings or on the ribbons or whatever is in there. They'll learn those fine motion grips as well as learning that something can get longer when you pull on it. And there you go guys, that is the way I created my two DIY inspired Montessori toys. Honestly, they probably took me an hour each. They're so, so simple. Charlie loves them. It's probably one of his favorite toys right now. And it just makes me feel happy that I can create toys with things that I have or just spend a couple dollars rather than spending, you know, $30, $40 on each toy because it adds up really quick and Look, I'm going to be spending my money on Charlie until he's around 18 years old. So if I can save a bit of money, I'm going to save a little bit of money. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it was easy enough for you guys to follow along. Let me know if you guys try and make these toys yourself. Like I mentioned, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do because I upload lots of motherhood content every week and it would really, really support my channel if you do. Also, make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already because that also really supports my channel but thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll see you all in my next one bye